reading in the Guardian newspaper from November 2022. This is Paul Burrell, who was a royal butler. And Paul Burrell reported a conversation with Her Majesty the Queen prior to her sad recent uh, uh, departure. Uh, and Paul Burrell reports that the Queen said this, Queen Elizabeth said this, there are powers at work in this country about which we have no knowledge. So, uh... Well, I find that rather ironic and comedy value, to be honest. I mean, this is not about John Campbell either. I'm, this is not having a go at John Campbell. But um, the Queen apparently is, you know, meant to have said this. Some people still question whether or not, you know, Diana has been put on witness protection programme or even the Queen took an early retirement from public life and went on the witness protection programme. No one knows for certain because we're not privy to that information. There are powers at work in this country which we have no knowledge. Well, we, there are powers at, for a start. Let's start from us, the public. We can safely say there are powers at work in this country of which we have no knowledge, but of which someone has knowledge. Someone does have knowledge. In fact, people have knowledge, mainly the Prime Minister of England, the Lord Chancellor, Lord Chief Justice, um, certain departments and divisions of government which don't care to disclose that information because it's classified. And we're not talking about Donald Trump stuff in documents in his cabinet um, after he's meant to be, you know, retired from uh, being president of America. We're talking, you know, what about Madeleine McCann? Even the police can't find people who are disappeared from, you know, under witness protection program. They're, they're hidden from everyone. There's extremely limited um, people. Rand, Senator Rand Paul was saying, you know, there are certain things that he's trying to find out in the American government that either they won't tell him, even when he's a senator and running inquiries. And there are some things that the military department um, didn't want to tell the president, although he's meant to have classified access to all information. You know, um, Obama claimed that, you know, he wanted to find out about UFOs and everything, and they said there weren't any. And then now we end up having all these um, UFO inquiries and hearings that, you know, they don't come clean with us, the major government. And, as you know, throwing out a one-liner like that, the Queen in the, you know, when she's within ears length reach of her um, servants or whoever, you know, it makes you wonder whether or not she's allowed to throw out um, a fishing line for him to pick up anyway, you know. Um, so, but the most ironic thing about all this thing is that in, in terms of how John Campbell delivered the line, is, is, is he making out that the Queen claims that there are powers at work in this country about which we have no knowledge? Well, she's trying to make out that... Um, is she speaking on behalf of the, the entire culminative um, knowledge base of, you know, all of the universities, professors, secret service, departments, government... I'm guessing the Queen, um, if the Queen is saying there are powers at work in this country about which we have no knowledge, then if they did, then is she trying to make out that she'd know about it? <laughs> if they did have knowledge about it, she'd know about it. But, it, you know, even if they do have knowledge about things, what would they do with that knowledge anyway? You know, I can, I can sit here confidently and listen to Andrew Bridgen, MP, listen to other MPs speak, you know, and I, I mean, I have been reading the law and interpreting that law is not a problem. There's no doubt or question about the interpretation of it. it it's written for basic interpretation there's nothing complicated or academic about it it's not like doing a chemistry or a um physics 
um, exam. And then, you know, Dr. Gail Bradbrook, who is appearing in many court cases for Extinction Rebellion, is meant to be, you know, a doc have a doctorate in the sciences, you know, in... Um, actually in, in my, microbiology or microchemistry or whatever it is, she's meant to be a highly qualified academic in quite a complicated and technical field, right? But she seems to miss the point when she's doing a court case of Extinction Rebellion, you know? The, there are powers at work in this country of which we have no knowledge. It's not difficult, right, to... Observe, make observations about certain things that are at play now, immediately, in your own house, in your own family, within your own family, within your own home, within society, and make observations of powers that are at work which are not necessarily in the control of one or two or three individuals, but whereby everyone is equally contributing towards the events, or at least they are engaged in events to a certain extent whereby they are under certain influ under the influence. We are under the influence, and it, it, it is a matrix of influence, and... No one's saying that, you know, it's easy to break it, but it, it's causing a lot of the illnesses and a lot of the problems. That, for one, and we know what those powers are which are controlling it, mainly the government through legislation, but also companies and businesses, many of which now we know are being taken over by large companies. Now, how can the Queen... Firstly, um, you know, for a... You know, I said for a start, you know, there are powers which we don't know about, but they do. Well, what about, you know, Charles's will? That would be interesting to find out. And the Queen's will and Philip's, you know, it, 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 we've got this big group of companies called Black Vanguard and they own quite nearly everything now. Now, would they, would you... Would you suggest that a group of companies would be able to get so powerful and so rich with disposable trillions, which Charles was talking about, and have control over the majority of the market in food, um, in advertising, in media, in, in, in the majority of the chemistry, pharmaceutical uh, trade, and then come out, you know, when, you know, people from the royal family have been known to be engaged or connected with these organisations to some extent, to what extent we aren't exactly clear, but to some extent, and say that there are powers at work in this country of which we have no knowledge. Well, you know, the, the thing is, the Queen, the Queen's written off her own sentence there, and, and I'll challenge her on that, even though she's not around to challenge it. So she opens with this, right? There are powers. So, the, Her Majesty's opening three words are, and this is where I write the whole thing off. Just write her off because she's full of she's full of bollocks. She's an absolute flaming liar. There are powers. Second word, are are. There are powers. Is that confirmed? No, it doesn't say there may be powers. It doesn't say there could be powers. It doesn't say there might be powers. And it doesn't say we suspect or think there might be powers. Uh, opening three words in this sentence to any pimpernel in this whole country uh, has got a scrape or scrimp of an A level in English literature or writing or any qualification, academic, above a PhD doc doctorate, can come across with this sentence, right, and not clarify word two of this sentence clearly states... There are powers at work in this country, then, about which we have no knowledge, right? So, if you don't have any knowledge about them, 
Then how do you know that they're there? How do you know there are any powers? And how do you know that it is a power? She's using the word power, right? How do you know it's not a, just a natural occurrence? There, how about frame it like this? There are natural occurrences at work in this country about which we have no knowledge. How about this? There are natural forces at work in this country which we have no knowledge. No powers. It, it, it powers. All right, electricity, you can have a power, but there's many types of electricity, kinetic or whatever. How about the rule of law? Is that electric? You know, well, it uses kinetic energy of sound to transmit it, light to read it off a of paper, possibly even the power of thought, you know, telekinesis. She's, she's, she's stating, statement, there are powers. And then word number one, two, three, four, five. Word five is work. There are powers at work. Would that be the labor force? Would that be a scientist? Who are they working for? There are powers at work. Oh, if there are any powers, they better be at work. That means they better be paid for what they, you know. Are they getting paid? Work. The word work is to labour, right? To labour. Particularly if you've got uh, an entire factory doing your bidding for the entire day or an entire laboratory of PhD doctorates doing your bidding all day, they, you would be have powers to put people at work all day. Uh, they're not definitely in retirement, I'll put it there. And they're definitely not doing it at their leisure, um, unpaid, out of charity, um, when they can't afford to get any laboratories or money, right? There are powers and they are at work, well, if anyone had any power to put anyone at work, it would be a Majesty a Queen talking about the number of servants that she's got and the amount of workforce that, um, you know, Jeff Bezos has got at Amazon. There are powers and they're at work and they're in this country. So to start with, she know the Queen is saying there are powers and they're actually at work. Um, they're not just floating around, not doing anything, and um, occasionally, you know, sparking like lightning. You could say lightning is a force, but I wouldn't say it was at work, right? Um, or not 24 hours a day. It's a um, randomly occurring um, natural energy. It's a power, but I wouldn't say that it was at work, because if it was at work... It would be at some kind of constant or controlled. The thing with the word work is that it is doing um, something. It, it's not just operating. You know, you could say that, you know, my body's always at work, right? Because that's because I'm alive, but it's not always at work. Because after I'm dead, it's not working anymore, is it? You know, um, there is electricity at work in this house until I turn the button off and then it's not at work anymore. The powers aren't at work. When I switch off the electricity in the house, are those powers at work? No, they're on. So that means they're engaged. Engage. Impulse power. Warp speed, Mr. Sulu. Oh, put, them, put, these, put these powers to work. There are some powers, are they? Where are they? Put them to work. We've got powers to work. There's the Great Seal of England. The Great Seal of England. There's a power. Put it to work. Well, I'll have to write up some legislation then. Oh, it's just doing nothing, you know. Ah, uh, we've got a parliament... Um, uh, you know, we can make law. Well, we better put it to work then. We'll write some legislation. No, we could just. So, it, power at work, right? At work. About which we have no knowledge. Well, that's a lie. Her Majesty lies. Her Majesty is was a blatant liar. And she knows exactly what she's saying. She knows exactly what she's talking about. Um, and if she didn't, then it would be concerned that she spent that much time um, in the House of Lords sat on the throne of England, right? There are powers, and they're at work in this, in this country. You know, oh, if there's a power at work, how do you know it's not coming from China? How do you know it's not arcing through the sky and coming from Russia? How do you know it's not coming from Iceland? How do you know it's not coming from the centre of the earth? No, she explicitly uses in word eight, word eight in this country. So not only does she know what country they're in, 
not only does she know that, that someone's putting these powers to work and that they actually are powers, then she claims he has no knowledge of them. Well, to start with, if you know what country they're in and if you know that they've been put to work and that there are some sort of powers, then you've got knowledge about them. Absolute, you know, absolute ridiculous woman. An absolutely ridiculous woman who cannot have ever been taken seriously of the highest level academic um, schooling, private schooling, custom schooling you can get about the castles of England and the families of England and the conquest and, you know, the rest of it and so forth, strategically placed building perfectly coinciding with her coronation on known ancient sites world war breaking out the exact time a place is excavated by an archaeologist at the exact time it begins then a world war breaks out sites that have got buildings built on to um make power statements you know these people have us for fools and then her son charles stands before the entire world and makes the announcement oh it's just a military style campaign um coming from the global private sector which is beyond our leaders and it's got trillions at its disposal is it charles um well but there's a little bit more of knowledge and information than Her Majesty seemed to be coming out with because she didn't know which country it was coming from or if there were any powers at work. But yeah, there were definitely military powers at work. Um, military powers at work. And definitely in this country. I mean, put two and two together. This is a military-style campaign and beyond leaders um, from the corporate global private sector. Oh, well, there's a jigsaw piece puzzle that fits the picture if I ever saw one. You know, um, there are powers at this work in this country. Powers at work in this country, of which we have no knowledge. Well, actually, if, 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 you, if that word we was to be, like, you know, the people, um, you know, the public, then that would fit perfectly. Um, but, unfortunately, the Queen does seem to have plenty of knowledge about it. Um, I would suggest that these are the exact powers at work, uh, probably from this country, that is actually Charles, uh, with his beyond leaders in his global private sector, unless he was hiding something from his majesty. But it, Charles, he, he's quite confident that these are military powers, they're coming from a private sector, uh, and they're beyond the leaders of the country. So, um, you know, it ain't no glass slipper, but... Um, you know, I think that the, the Queen is lying there because the whole sentence is a lie in itself because it, it li the sentence lies to itself. It says that, oh, there are powers at work in this country. Oh, are they my majesty, really? You, you know that much. And then they hear out there, oh, really, but which we have no knowledge. But how do you know that they're there? Um, how do you even know of their existence or presence or their effects, Your Majesty? Um, you know about the effects of these powers, therefore you know something. And if they're in this country, then you know what country it is. But you claim you have zero knowledge about the, them at all. But that, that you, it's a lie. You can't have that statement, Your Majesty, because you wouldn't know that they exist, but then you wouldn't know they were powers, and you also wouldn't know what country they were in. You would be absolutely oblivious and the sentence would not be able to be formulated it would not be able to be stated it would not be able to exist and it would not be able to sp be spoken therefore i claim a majesty it was a liar a flaming liar i claim that these powers are the exact same powers of the, the military style campaigns of global private sectors which are beyond the leaders of our country uh, well, the, the parliamentary leaders, the House of Lords and the um, ministers, and uh, they have, uh, they're have they in this country because I claim that there is, is, is a majesty. I'm Philip. 
and Andrew and Charles, and I claim that it, it's us, that we, we, the public, have no knowledge. They have knowledge about them because they're lying. They're lying when they don't have, say they, say they don't have knowledge about them. Because uh, what evidence have I got that she's lying? Because that sentence is a lie. It's a lie. It's prima facie evidence that the Queen is a liar. She is a liar. She was a liar. She's a flaming liar by her own sentence in her own words. And her own son has admitted to the World Health Organization at the um, World Economic Forum that there are powers, military powers, beyond the leaders. And they have children at their disposal. No one on the face of this planet Earth has a trillion at their disposal unless they've got powers. And wouldn't we like to know about how those powers worked? Wouldn't we like to have some knowledge about those powers and how they worked? You know, wouldn't the workforce like to get hold of those powers? And I don't mean when they're on the break time uh, munching down McDonald's burger through a trained rabbit rodent ranchero run drive through um, of which people are addicted to and can't stop and, and Dex pushing it on the Saturday night takeaway, um, you know, um, trying to get you to go through faster and eat more burgers. You know, we, we need to get a grip on these people we need to get a grip on them through whether it's through democratic power through voting through new political parties through independent parties because we've got andrew bridgen these people firstly they they they, they are going they claim they're going to give up our rights to foreign powers and then we pull them over on it, and then, oh, actually, no, it turns out that, actually, no. Well, we, we don't actually have to do what the World Health, Economic, World Health Organization says, but, according to Andrew Bridgen MP, the government is going to uh, make us do it anyway. Well, how can it do that when it's illegal? It's criminal. And then this is why Bridgen is like in Karate Kid. You walk on one side of the, you know... Daniel, son, walk on one side of the road or walk on the other side of the road, but don't walk in the middle or get squished like grape. The thing with Bridgen is he's calling out the government all the time. Oh, you know, um, they don't want to debate my issues. They're sticking me in the naughty room with no windows. Oh, I've been kicked out of my party. Oh, um, it took me 20 attempts to get a debate. Oh, there the, the, the was very sinister powers and forces were up against. Well, Andrew Bridgen seems to know about them. Andrew Bridgen is saying, oh, they were, you know, um, you know, we're taking on, um, you know, m massive powers in the world. The thing with bridging is this, right? The law makes what the ministers are doing a crime, a prosecutable offence without immunity, prosecutable by the Supreme Court for treason, for for undermine, undermine, for subverting the liberties of the realm. And that is in the um, Bill of Rights. And there are three specific designated and indicated parties who are at liberty to, be, to commit this offence. And that is the ministers in Parliament, the ju judges in the judiciary and the councillors in the local council, so it doesn't mention the House of Lords, right? Now, it's Rishi Sunak and Andrew Bridgen's colleagues who are breaking the law. It says that they're not allowed to give up our rights to foreign forces. They've admitted now that they don't have to give up the rights, um, even if they try to take them, or no, it's not enforceable. Now, then they're reckoning that they're just going to say go along with it anyway and push it on us, which they can't, because that's illegal, right? And then Sunak's going to try and chisel away at it all and reshape some format or whatever um, when that's illegal. The only thing that these ministers don't seem to be doing is lying, forming a queue at the Supreme Court for prosecution. Where is the queue? Please form an orderly queue 
outside the Supreme Court for prosecution. Now, when they commit election fraud, they have to go to the High Court because it's prosecutable offence. They, they lose their vote. They can't go in the House of Commons anymore. They can't be a member of a political party. And they might have to go to prison. This is prisonable offences. It used to be not prosecuted at common law. Now, added to that, now they can go to prison. Now, if they think that law is invalid and they think that law is a load of tosh and that they've got the right for immunity, well, and they just have to stand down like Boris Johnson, well, that means that we've all got the immunity through the Bill of Rights, not just them. Now, they need to make their mind up. Now, I think that they have not only lied to us, in the Petitions Committee, they've perverted the course of justice, there are no real stand, there's no legislation or standing orders to back up any of their claim standards, they're just blagging us, they are, uh, what do you call it when the judge um, tests the jury, they're trying, they're having a try, they're trying to debate with us what we can and can't do. The debate is meant to be in the House of Commons, in the chamber. That's where the debate is. The debate is not meant to take place via mail, via post. We bring the case, we get the people to sign it. If it's not something Parliament can do, then who the fuck would sign it? Only a simpleton would sign it, right? I doubt that it's not a thing that Parliament um, can do or nothing within the power of Parliament to do if, you know, half of England signed it or and if they did sign it, you could make it into something that Parliament could do because you could make a law for them to give them the powers to do it. So, you know, I I am getting sick of these ministers. Maybe Bridge and scared. Maybe he's worried. You know, what happened to, um, you know... Um, Lord Bedford just before the Civil War he was the king's most fiercest opponent and he mysteriously gets smallpox you know, was he poisoned by a, by a vaccine, by a virus question, what, you know did the king, um, you know send Milady de Winter in with you know, oh I know where there's a couple of um, people with smallpox in the hospital um, you know, go down and get you know, send Milady de Winter down with a swab and um, get it stuck in um you know, uh, Bedford's um, best uh, dinner bowl or whatever, or, or under his bed when he's not in. This is the thing. And then mysteriously John Pym also goes, um, just as we're going into the Civil War, although the rest of that committee survived. You know, the, the Painted Chamber Committee, um, Brooke and um, Essex, Warwick, Lord Say Seal, you know, Cromwell as well even got ill towards the end with um, kidney stones. But I don't, I'm not claiming the kidney stones um, was, was unnatural. But then again, he probably drank quite a lot of alcohol, which is no good for it. But I, I'm quite certain, I know, I, I know that, you know, that short parliament, um, t when it turned out that Bedford was quite a fierce opponent of the, what the king wanted to do, and then he, he mysteriously gets smallpox. You know, I'm not saying that lots of people weren't getting it and dying, but, you know, it, see, you know, I, I, you know, this is the thing now. Where are we now? What's going on with this whole pandemic and then these other things in these Wuhan labs and so forth? Well, this is what Campbell is talking about. Campbell, I think Campbell is not suspicious enough. He, he, he's not paranoid enough.